it is a violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling. We're gonna keep this between you and me. We're going off label today. I'm not looking for any trouble, just trying to take care of my plants. Hey friends, welcome back. Today's video is controlling bugs, pests on your house plants and how to get rid of them, how to control them, how to prevent them, all that good stuff. That's what this video is on. Buckle up. It's going to be dangerous. It's not going to be dangerous. It's going to be fun. It's not going to, it's not going to be fun. First of all, if you have bugs on your plants, I am so sorry. It's the worst. It's the worst. I'm sorry. Here's the current situation for myself. I've had a very fruitful propagation season. I have been keeping them outside on my patio just so that they get, I don't know, plants just like it outside. They get the airflow, they get the humidity, they got all the heat, they got, they got, they got it going on outside, okay? Here's the thing, they can't stay outside all year long. Oh no, winter is just around the bend. Eventually, the nights are gonna be staying below 50 degrees, and so outside is gonna be a no-go for these plants. I'm going to have to bring these plants inside. What we're not gonna do is bring bugs inside when we bring the plants inside. If they've been outside, they got bugs on them. Okay, you may not be able to see them, but they are there. Why wouldn't they be? I mean, you're giving them a nice, home to live in so they're gonna live on the leaves they're gonna live in they're gonna lay eggs in the soil <sniffs> even if you don't see them you're gonna have to do something about them before you just bring them inside and have them snuggled up with your other plants maybe your situation is different and you just have a plant with bugs on it and you've spotted them that's great if you can go ahead and identify what the bug is super de duper and some of your plants are going to be more prone to certain bugs yada 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 i've said a lot of things all right we've all been there we see a plant in the store we gotta have it but if it's got bugs you don't got to have it you need to leave it don't bring bugs home check under the leaves check under everywhere don't bring any bugs home with you you don't want that plant i promise you this is my process of debugging the pesting these plants. Y'all know I'm a dilution girl, right? I like to dilute my fertilizer. I'm gonna dilute my depestation. So the two things that I use is mosquito flakes, bits, whatever it's called, and neem oil. These are some things that I use to help me get rid of bugs. What I start doing is watering my plants with some mosquito bit water i shake out some in a bowl i put some hot water in it i let it steep am i steeping could be steeping i've dissolved the flakes in it i dilute that solution and that's what i'm watering my plants with this is also a good thing to do if you're ever dealing with fungus gnats let's talk about fungus gnats it's a pretty common pest for house plants you might think that they're fruit flies that are flying around your plants but in fact they're fungus gnats and what they're doing is laying eggs in the soil of your house plants they really like it when your plants are really the soil's really wet and moist that's where they're gonna be and so i'll notice them a lot of times when i'm propagating plants because i'm keeping that soil a little more moist than i would normally i like to keep my plants on the drier side but with my propagations they are staying a bit wetter and so i'll see fungus gnats on those plants typically and so i will water them with this solution as well what do i want to call you mosquito solution, mosquito bit solution, fungus gnat solution. How it's labeled to use is just sprinkling the flakes on top of the soil. As you're watering your plant, it'll get that solution down into the soil. Whatevs, you wanna be a rebel, you can do it like me. Don't tell the feds and we should be fine. That takes care of the soil, but we still could have some bug issues on the actual leaves. Bugs like to be underneath the leaf. Get dead leaves, debris, whatever is on your house plant. Get it off of there. 
so the bugs don't have somewhere to hide. And the next thing I'm going to use is some neem oil. I'm also going off label with it because I'm not going to spray the neem oil just directly onto the plant. I'm going to dilute it as well. So before you get to Neiman, you need to wait for an overcast day. If you've put some neem oil on your leaves, you don't want any sunlight you know, hitting your leaves. You don't want to deal with a burning kind of situation. I wait for a cloudy day and I dilute my neem oil, you know, one fourth. I'm always going a quarter strength with things. It just seems like science to me. It's just good science. One fourth strength of the neem oil to some water and I spray it down. You want to spray down the leaves really good. You want it dripping off of the leaves that it's covered so much. And then you just let it sit there for a couple of hours. And so after you do that, you spray it off real good with the hose because you want to remove the neem oil after those few hours. And then you can bring them inside. Don't mix them up with your other plants because you might have missed something. Water it a couple more times with your funky solution too and keep an eye on it. Don't mix it in there with all your other plants until you feel confident that it does not have any bugs. So keep it isolated just like you would a new plant that you brought home. You're going to keep it isolated so that any bugs are there. They'll show their ugly faces to you before you get them hanging out with the other plants. We all might lose a battle with these bugs. Here's a story about a Schifflera. Kept my Schifflera outside. Schifflera's are prone to scale. Mine got scale and I battled with it. I was even, I was neeming it. I was taking a Q-tip and removing the little crusty things off of the leaves. What I was worried about was that that scale would leave the Schifflera and get onto another one of my plants. And so I kind of had to make the decision to lose the battle and get rid of the plant or run the risk of my other plants getting scale. And so that was a no brainer for me. I don't have time to deal with scale. So that's, that was that. Talked long enough again. Thanks for watching my video and hope it was helpful go get them bugs y'all kill the bugs kill them we're friends right i can trust you you've never given me a reason not to trust you so i'm a good girl not looking for any trouble not me there's a violation of federal law you know what just just read the label do what you want